We don't have an outlet for it. We don't have an expression of it, except in entertainment. And in one way, that's really good, right? I mean, you feeling violent, play a video game. You want to kick someone's ass, play a video game. You want to scream and yell and rage, you watch television and you buy a foam brick and you throw your foam brick at the TV when the ref makes a bad call. We have these ways of getting violence out. Because in some sense, we're not honest about our violence anymore and we've pushed violence underground. We, we make violence an inner city problem and we abandon people to these neighborhoods and these gangs and these kids. We abandon them. We push them underground. And the same in the suburbs. Oh my gosh, the suburbs. You close the door. You shut the garage. You put the kids in the basement. Whatever it is, we, we hide everything in the suburbs. Good gosh, it looks so pretty from the outside. Man, some of the most incredible, heinous acts of violence occur in the suburbs. We were reminded of that in Newtown. The suburbs are no escape. And we've turned our violence into entertainment again. I think that's actually a way of shifting it underground. We play our first-person shooter games. And this is just a way of turning violence into entertainment and thus putting violence underground so we can pretend we're not actually violent people. And so, even though it's been funny... <laughs> the Mayan calendar and all this stuff. It's been funny. The truth is, this is the end of an age of some kind, the end of an era. We really don't know what we're doing right now. Some of us just don't know what we're doing. We don't know how to be a community. We don't know how to be people anymore, except in isolation. Now look at me, I'm sitting here alone talking to a camera, hoping that somebody will watch this damn thing. And I know someone, well, one person at least will, because I'll send them the file and he'll edit it. Thank you, Jordan. I'm doing this a little bit differently today. Um, oh, sorry about that. There we go. Wait, wait. There we go. I'm doing this without the big fancy microphone. Um, yeah, I've been neglecting this channel. I apologize. I've been doing a lot with busted stuff over at Sogo Media, and that's been great. And in a way, I'm cheating in order to get myself back into the swing of first thoughts. And the way I am cheating is this. I'm responding to a Busted Stuff video. Is that not ludicrous? Some people over on Facebook responded to the Busted Stuff video with some questions, and they had some good comments to make, and it was really helpful. In my Busted Stuff video, I talked about Newtown, Connecticut, and I talked about how institutions can't save us, and only we can save one another, really. And then I posted a blog. I lamented. <laughs> I asked the question, essentially, is it too late for us to actually make a significant change about gun control? And it was the wrong question, or it's the wrong subject. It's not really about gun control, because it's always ever about violence. It's just violence. The problem we have in this country is with violence. I was asked by some people on the Facebook thread to talk about pastoral responses or grief. And I guess I'm offering you an expression of grief, and I want to encourage you to express your grief. Even if you say horrifically nihilistic things, it's all going to hell in a handbasket. Just express your grief. Start from somewhere. There's, there are harmful expressions of grief, but sometimes if you don't start from what you got, nothing will come. The healthier expression of grief won't come for you. So you just simply start with what you got. We have to make room for one another's grief. And we have to be honest about the violence that is in us. The only way we're going to move past the violence in our communities is to be honest about the violence in our communities. Is to be honest about human nature that there is no escaping violence. You can't leave the city thinking that there will be no violence where you live. That violence doesn't happen in the suburbs. The suburbs are peaceful places. Or that by moving back into the city in some funk-driven hipster attempt to gentrify Detroit or whatever, that you will restore a violent place to sanity. It's such a false, false notion of how human beings function. We aren't more violent in one place and less violent in another. We're just people. Sometimes we're incredibly violent. We have to be honest about our violence. We have to find a way as a country, as a people, as friends with one another to be honest about our violence. We have to have room to express anger and grief and we have to find healthy ways of doing it. We have to find healthy ways of taking care of one another. We have to create those communities. Yeah. My name is Trip Hudgens. These are First Thoughts. Oh, God,